Hi and welcome to the channel, my name is Anna Maria and this is the sixth episode in a series I am doing about the witch trials. And in this episode I will talk about Hungary. Also going to remind everyone that the witch trials were brutal. And some of the themes I will take up can be distressing, especially when it comes to the sentences and the punishments. So a warning for the episode. Hungary had witch trials for a long period of time. They had a lot of cases in the Middle Ages and even earlier than that, and then way into the 1700s. In the 11th century, there was a king named Stephen I of Hungary, and he banned all magic and sorcery when the country became Christian. But as in many countries, the witch trials started with all the ones that used witchcraft for harm and death, and then changed. In the years from 1526 to 1699, Hungary was divided into different regions. In northern Hungary, which is modern Croatia, Slovenia and Slovakia, the witch trials were influenced by the Catholic Austria. In southern Hungary, which was the Ottoman Empire, the Ottoman courts weren't that interested in the Christian witch trials. But the religious minorities still had its own trials. Eastern Hungary, Transylvania, had a German culture and heritage, and the German church had a say in the witch trials there. In Hungary, it was conflicts between families that triggered most of the witch trials and cases of witchcraft. It became personal. All families from high classes to nobility to lower classes and working classes were involved in this in some way. There were cases where families were in a rivalry and they accused each other for witchcraft that led to injury and death. This also meant that people from the lower classes could accuse and succeed in getting nobility tried for a case. Children also accused adults of sorcery. In the cities, it was the city courts that held the trials, whilst in the countryside, it was the private feudal courts. Torture was often used to get information out and to get others in as well. Also, the water test was used to see if anyone was a witch. When it came to the executions, burning at the stake was the most common. But you could also be buried alive or be stoned to death or quartered. In the mid 18th century, the witch trials were still very intense and this became a problem for Austria that controlled parts of Hungary. A man called Gerard van Sweeten, who was the royal court physician at this time, had a mission to talk to Maria Theresa, who was the empress ruler over several countries, including Hungary at this point. And that conversation led to that executions for witchcraft ended and the trials died down as well. This came into law in 1768, but there was still one illegal trial in 1777, but that was the last execution ever for witchcraft in Hungary. And that was all for this episode about the witch trials in Hungary. In the next episode I will talk about Switzerland. If you like this, please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget the notifications and I will see you in the next one.